go to base B. Set my timer as well. Ah, just left side away. Stomach hurts with the fight. Just the way I was sitting. Wait, maybe I was too focused. <laughs> yep. Now we go ahead on over to the saddle drawer. I'm trying to remember what the hell I said earlier. Like there, there was something I wanted to try again. Was it Dino Egg? No. What was it? Because like, we got all these tranks and the traps, so I mean, they have shadow mains. Oh, I did want to lightning whoever knows, we probably have to go to Ragnarok. Um, so we can probably empty out on the uh, trank stuff. For the time being, even the uh, structure thing I got. Yep, so let's just get all of that tranky stuff over to here. So, oh, not that. Well, that thing can be dropped. Um, let's see, so this guy, 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 we got some stone as well, which is cool. Uh-huh, we got some meat. What else did I get from those guys? Probably nothing too much, because I was originally there for just getting stuff. And that was that. So we gotta wait for that spoiled meat. Okay. Most of this stuff is just kind of random shit, so I might just dump most of it. Oh, Deku. Yo, I think Deku's fucking following me, man. I think he is. Let's see. Let's see if there's that. Uh, Alright. Shit's not even really here. But since we gotta wait for it to load anyway, let's get most of this out of here. It's kinda weird that it just happens to leave Genesis and go here at the exact same time as I did. Let's see if we'll pop out real quick. The 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 server definitely has like a no really meshing thing for the most part but I am curious and I think we're trying to HUJ someone actually looked that up after we reload back in to my discord let's see HUJ let's see a moonlit kiss, interior hunts, and my friend Hijula. Yep. Okay. So, yet yeah, there is no status update on uh, Hijuj. AKA me. <laughs> That's cool. There is something in Central Arc, though. There's like an announcement. Shutting the island and Scorcher then change the time cycle for Halloween event. 35 minute days and 25 minute nights until the event ends or just gets old. Ah, neat. So I imagine like they'll keep the Halloween event going until like that fucking Thanksgiving. Cause I mean, I definitely want to see the super turkeys again cause they're, they're a meme. You know, Ark is funny as shit. Did I just get disconnected or did I get banned? I guess we'll see. I've lost connection to host. Okay, that's fair enough. Phone's getting lower. Probably gonna have to throw this thing on charge. But, yep. Yeah. Where's my cup? I want some soda. Like, even though I'm going to bed soon. I'm actually one of those people that like I can intake sugar and I can just go to sleep when I want to. One time I had 16 Red Bulls, and my heart was beating so fast it was shaking the bed. And I decided, hey, 
it's sleep time even though I'm fully awake but you know my, my chest hurts I think I drank too many I was just like I'm gonna go to sleep now most people would tell me that like if I didn't go to sleep I would have had a heart attack it's like when you go to sleep you calm down your body and put yourself in like a tranquility state which is good <sighs> So, yeah, I, I've been staying away from Red Bulls ever since. Like, I would drink orange juice, milk, like, whatever other drinks that are semi-healthy, still why not. Apple juice, fucking, I don't know, water. <laughs> there's, there's a list. Oh, that Deku guy disappeared. Weird. Like, I, just, I find it so strange that the admin literally went from like Genesis and went directly to the same server that I was on. It's very unique. So I don't know if he's just kind of like spy on players or if something's going on. Maybe someone else is doing mission. Or maybe he just wants to see the action. I mean, I can understand that, like, no matter what kind of action it may be. But yeah. Alright, so let's get back to that bed now. You have to go back to uh the box bed. That way we can get the stuff onto there. Void of annoy. And we'll go grab up a lightning weapon egg. But I'm kinda tempted to go back to my other spawn point if I can. So I'm gonna see if I can do that or not. So the lightning weapon though should be able to knock out dinos from me. What we'll do is we'll just level health. So that way it can be tanky, but it can just knock out people's shit. So like health and stamina and carry weight should be the main deal. Yep. But yeah, let's go check if I do have an egg for that. Because if I have an egg, then I can just bring the stuff back and we don't have to leave right away. I can just raise this dino and tame that thing tomorrow. Alright, let's just type in weapons at WY. I think these are lightning weapons. Yo, these are fertilized lightning weapons. You can breed wyverns? Yo, what? It literally says breed under names. What the fuck? 251, 157. And those guys did some crazy breeding. Wow. Okay. So it's safe to say <laughs> that that's a thing. Okay, so I, 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 could, I don't have to go and get an egg. I can just do that. Cool. But I still want to stop by the island and uh, check out some things. So let's actually go back again. Uh, let's see, my other bed. The box bed has a timer. Yeah. I think we'll go check on the velos in the meanwhile, though. Yep. Hell, I'm actually tempted to put this bed down below. It's, a, it's one thing to have a bed here, but once I get stuck down here, I would like to have a spawn point. Somewhere where I can, you know, do things right away with my dinos. See, I will rename this the chamber. The chamber of secrets. Yeah. And I will just kind of level these guys while we wait. I'm trying to get like a melee stat, I don't much care for uh, all the other stats really at the moment. I'm trying to get these guys strong enough to like do boss fights and stuff. Or at least they're babies. Well, so like these guys personally probably won't be able to do that much, but hopefully like you know each descendant will go from like oh we have 5,000 health to oh the next one has like 10,000 and 20,000 and then we'll go up to 100. And with the server being semi like nerfy for most unofficial, like kind of more close to official, but kind of slightly boosted. I think it even says it in the title. 15 times. So it's probably 15 times everything. <coughs> Which ain't too bad. Probably explains why the stats aren't too high. Yeah, uh, yeah we gotta wait a little bit. Mm-hmm. Might even be able to leap through Green Op again. Because, like, I imagine the dude who lives there is probably, like, well defended and shit. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. The only other thing that messes me up, though, <coughs> especially about where that guy's located, I actually wanted to use that map 
as or that not the map but like that building area as a way to like get under the map because like part of that area is a good way to secure underground meshing because they, they got rid of the uh the other way and i imagine the oil cave one's probably taken so people probably mesh through that way too unless the people just take the oil cave and just don't know which is usually the case but yeah it's usually servers like this though that like seem like they're not gonna wipe really and just kind of hang out and chill and the admin doesn't really pay attention fully all too much I imagine that maybe the uh that there's like other people that are roaming around being sneaky and shit you know sneaky 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 also sometimes I notice though even though it's not quite on the map like it's past a border I wonder why there's a body of water to the bottom left of the map like is that something you can get through meshing and check it out and you can build on that tiny tiny island or is that is that something else like is that a boss fight maybe say it looks like it's probably where you fight the uh, chimera and the dragon and shit yeah all right so I think box bed is good to rock yeah so I spawn up here, get my stuff, go on through, and we'll go check island shenanigans. Yep. Oh, wait a minute. What? Did I did I already put it in? Oh, I did. What? When did I do that? You know, my my brain is. <laughs> I I must have did it so fast I didn't remember. Unless maybe they server rewind uh, Volgaro, and I'm gonna have two layers of loot. That'd be cool. Who knows? Cause I know some stuff was going on. Oh, speaking of which, even if I wanted to raid Scorched, uh, Admin said he's taking it down <coughs> to do some updates for uh, the Halloween event. Yep, and the Halloween stuff should be on here anyway. Unless it maybe to save space, maybe the admin is only doing the Halloween event on certain maps. This way, if people want that special, special loot, they have to go to one server only. Instead of like going, oh, look, I can get it anywhere. I'm so special. And it's like, nah, man, you gotta go scorched. So it would definitely make things interesting, I'd say. Yeah, I'm definitely down for that if that's the case. Yeah, that would definitely be fun. Cause like if it's on every map, just it's, it's kind of basic. So if it's like, oh no, like I want people fighting for the loot, man. Like I, I want to see some action. That's why I want to get my rock drake soon up and running, cause mm -hmm. I might be fighting some big time names shortly, if that's the case. Uh, but yeah, let's get that armor on. Whatever and pike. Super hatchet, chest piece, climbing pick can be moved over here. And I guess we'll keep the extra crop on, why not? Colby. Alrighty. Still got her on passive too. Also, since it's been a good bit, I actually kind of want to see how the, uh, the castle is doing before I get to the loot drop. So usually when some time passes, especially if there's a lot of like super tech crazy veterans out there that have been on this cluster for a while, sometimes like big places like this usually get taken over within a couple of days. So it might look kind of empty right now, but you come back like five days later, like a whole ass week or work week and just boom, there was now an army and they're going to kill everybody. Dude, why can't you land? Really? I hit X when we were at the loot drop and then you put me here. Fuck you, there is a Wow. Just get decimated, dude. Dude, move. How dare you survive one fight? Let's see what's in here. What would be low cell? Hazmat stuff. I'll take everything but the damage metal. It's gonna suck though once we get over to the island though, it's gonna take 200 seconds to uh... Oh, oh he's back. Hello. 
Why are you here? Why are you running? Can everybody leave me alone? I'm trying to do shit. I think that sometimes those things attack actually, but I think you got attacked by my weapon and not me, so I probably won't even notice. Alright, so let's go to the island. Oh, what the fuck? Really? I thought I hit join. I hit refresh. Well, at least this is gonna be a faster time limit though. But this loop drop has like 20 health now, so I gotta get going. Alright, so the island. Join. Now, if there was a player here, I probably would be dead already. There we go. Come on, man. Shit. <laughs> I don't have nothing all too important on me, but I did get attached to the wyvern a little bit. Also, this is why I put away my drink stuff, because someone could take that from me. And they'd be like, wow, thanks for all the drink or stuff. Now I can tame those five gigas I wanted. I'm about to go knock out other players' dinos so I can take their saddles off and get an easy kill. Wowee. Look at me. Cuckoo ka choo choo. Uh, yeah, I think we'll spawn here. Actually, you know what? Let's spawn more close to where I want to go. Like somewhere around here. I don't think anywhere is all too dangerous, I would think, so... Should be fine. Most people don't spawn kill anyway. Yep. Pike out. Safety. Alright. Get moving. Instead of sitting still and waiting for a crowd, but it's best to get moving. You know, no, nobody online at the moment, but it is good to get you know a head start this way by the time you get your flying dino out. Everything is so easy and wham. Is there a shark here? I believe there's always a shark here. Is it just dolphins this time? This is the only time I've seen dolphins at this spot. Also, one of the first times I played Ark, I actually got jailed by somebody over there. On that little island piece here. Knocked me out, maybe like a temporary slave. Was like, oh, I want you to gather this area, this pen that I made. And then after that, he like knocked me out and then told me, oh, I need you to gather these rocks too. Even though it's not within the prison land. It's okay. And then I was like gathering, gathering, bringing him the metal together. Yeah, yeah. And then after that he stopped looking. And he, I guess he trusted me. As soon as he did that I dipped in the water or just fucking booked. <laughs> like I gained my prison warden's full trust within seconds. Just because I was dedicated to the job. I guess he just wanted a tribe mate really. It's really like oh hey I just need some help. You know, just in a very indirect way. But I bet you that dude probably feel fucking sad as fuck when I just booked it. He'd be like, oh, my prisoner. My future friend. We were supposed to bond over time. Fuck. <laughs> now I'm feeling a little bit sad thinking like that. Damn, poor guy. I don't even know who he was, but whoever that was, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. I'll play on your server sometimes. For fun. Might not do too much, but I'm definitely down to wreak a little bit of havoc while I'm there. Yeah. I'm not too PvP crazy, but you betcha I'm gonna take advantage of people's situations. You get a loot drop, I'm gonna snatch you up. You get fucking something knocked out, I would kill your team. You got a bunch of crowd pods on you, and I see that you're crowd pod your other dinos. You can get that new Giga, and you can put a saddle on it and immediately use it. I'm going to kill you and take your crowd pods. Simple as that. I won't walk up to a fight and just go, oh, hey, I see a person, a la Akbar, I'm going to fight now. And I'll wait until I look, I see an opportune time, or if someone hops off their mount, or if I hear them whistle passive, you know, anything. Most of the time, though, especially if people are flying around or trying to tame shit anyway, and they don't want their dino just running off, so they'll put things on passive, like the guy do. Yeah, even, even my women on passive because I was trying to tame Rexes, so, yeah. Yeah, that's that, though. 
I kind of wish though that this tribe over here on this uh, snow island or ice island, Iceland, were to have a uh, bunch of Rexes. Cause like, may maybe now they came back and they saw that like I, I came up and just detonated their shit with the mag and made all their dinos fly away. And I made all their velos uh, die slowly. <laughs> so I'm curious. Let's see if they've continued or if they've quit and all their shit is claimable over time. Because if that's the case, then that must mean that all of us can probably take turns taking it. Or, well, not take turns, but like, whoever first comes first serve, pretty much. But, my usual rule of thumb, though, is if someone's going to try to fight me for shit in a claim fest, I usually spam claim and hit neutral and then follow me. And then that way, like, you know, if someone goes to attack me even afterwards, everything I manage to get is going to come fight you. Like, I, I ain't leave them without taking something with me, and simple as that. Uh, like, and the same thing goes for me in real life. Like, people, are, a lot of people are capable of killing you guys, too. You know, no one's undefeatable, you know, in any way, shape, or form. So my thought process is, if, let's say I was getting mugged, or I got mugged and shot, or someone just wanted to kill me because they hated me at some point in school, or something, or, like, whatever, maybe someone on the street just didn't like the way my face looked, anything, like, I, I ain't gonna finish bleeding out until, like, I break a kneecap or two, or until, like, I twist an arm, or I, I break a few fingers, or get, like, a, a, a knife or some kind of sharp object, and, like, go, go through a couple arms or something, or go for a gut, maybe the heart even, like, yeah, I, I ain't leaving this world until I get a little some kind of revenge. You know, fuck it. Let's see. There's no more weapons. Wow. And I don't see the pterodactyl. I bet you they probably packed up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I think someone came by and cleared them out. Yeah, even the forge is gone. Oh no. No, I think someone did come by and just kill all the shit. Damn. Man, I was gonna, I was gonna claim some of that. I really, I really should have pushed a reaper somewhere. Damn. Even the wyvern that was over there is gone too. Shit. It's a ghost town. Wow. Okay then. <laughs> shit. All right. Well, that happened. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should do. I'm tempted to go to Scorch and see if the Halloween event is up and running, so I'll probably do that. Uh, I'm definitely down to see what the loot drops offer. Maybe it's Halloween stuff. Maybe they haven't put their own personal uh, take on it, because that's what uh, one of the other favorite servers I was in did. They put a bunch of cool stuff. Like you could get certain blueprints, or it's more likely that you would get a... Uh, Special type of gun, like speaking of guns, something right there. Also, let's split the hide and throw that in there instead. But maybe someone that sees this might want some hide. I don't know. It's a blue drop anyway, so whatever is in here is probably gonna disappear. Only the odds will be the things that would keep stuff. Alright, off to Scorch we go. And seeing as almost no one really goes here, I think we're gonna be moderately okay, like, all the time. Especially when I actually go through a raid eventually. Which is why I would like to tame a Quetzal, because I, I want to test out the platform saddle stuff. And, uh, I'm trying to think, like, what kind of structure would be best to build for, um, holding it on. Also gotta check this blood blister I got. The uh, band-aid came off. Yep, I popped it and now it's flat. Alright. I should be good to keep the band-aid off. You have a spawn point. What's this? I think that's near that glitch. Yeah. That's right. I did this so that way in case if I fail I could respawn here. Neat. That's nice. Cool. 
Because then I could always go for the uh, other glitch, too, that I saw on YouTube. Yep, I'm definitely down to try that at some point. Let's check my wound in the meantime. It'll probably look very different when I wake up tomorrow, because usually when you sleep, if you got like some kind of cut, wound, or blood blister, blister, you should wake up the next day and everything looks different. Or like, you know, for example, I get a lot of mouth sores because I actually bite my lip or something when I'm eating. Or, you know, just other crap. I don't know. It's usually the biting. Sometimes you eat certain food, it'll cause it. Sucks. Oh, is this Halloween? It's a Halloween! Halloweener! Let's see what you got. Do you have a health bar? Oh, you do? Okay, so carrots, potatoes, and shit. That's neat. Hmm. Hell, I might even go for a loot job run. Kinda see what's all in these. Like, I'm definitely down to return back to base with like at least enough stuff to where I'm kind of over encumbered with it. I don't mind. I really wish though that no one would have touched the uh, that little base thing at uh, at the island there. I really thought that everyone was gonna leave it alone, but nope. It sucks. Good day, sir. So, ooh. You like flack is always a nice reward. I got something else over here too. Oh, see, so yeah, we're pretty much going to where we're encumbered, or well, close to it. Might even come across some bases along the way. Who knows? Some people be in the open, some people don't. Sato is always good in case we needed to sow turns at any point. Kentos are good for that too, but. Eh. Boy, we know Also, I, I think this is the place with that cave. Uh, oh, is this it? Have I already found it? That's not the right cave, but yeah, it should be this guy right here. Because what happened last time was uh there's a little bit of hoi noi. Okay, I think it's right here. Because there's this. Oh. Oh, it must be the wrong spot then. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind indeed, but hey we got more Halloween though. Hmm. Like I'm kinda curious to see if maybe somebody had more structure to it or not. Like the little turret barrage that was over there, maybe it's gonna be a base in the future. But yeah, it is what it is. Oh, this thing has yet to come down. Okay. Neat. Let's go investigate what we got so far. So, corn. Oh, long grass. <laughs> That's a potato, dude. Saber root, really? Rock a rock. Rock a rock. This root vegetable seems to thrive in your mammals and not dinosaurs. As such, it can be found mostly in the mountains. This citrus grows naturally along the coast. It will probably prevent scurvy. Ah. Can you even get scurvy on this game? Oh, that's a thought to think about shit. Also good that we got a uh, Velo saddle, because that means that like, whatever strong as Velo we end up getting, uh, we can use that saddle for uh, boss fights and such. But I think the first thing I'm going to do is probably like Aberration boss fights. Because, uh, yeah. And I think you can do boss fights through any drop, really. Really do. You deserve that. You literally walked right in front of a predator. What do you think is gonna happen? Is this thing coming down now? Oh, finally. It's probably gonna be more corn and vegetables and shit, but if it's different, that'd be wonderful. Let's see what we got. 
Come on, let me loot it. Oh, yeah, clown mask that time. Eh, I suppose we'll. I'll put it on. Why not? Really, the Nigga Zamba episode where you did a clown voice. Also, that video was fucking iconic. Uh, I used to have it saved on my watch later on my old account. I would rewatch that like every couple of days. Or maybe not days, but like, every few months. Like, yep, time to rewatch the Nigga Zamba clown video. <laughs> Meanwhile, he would have new videos, so I'm like, nope, I gotta watch this one again. Ah, that drop disappeared. Is there someone on here? Nope, just bad luck. That's the only thing that's online. <laughs> ah, shit. I'm down to grab like two more drops after that, I'm dipping. Yep, I think I wasted enough time. But we've made important steps, and I managed to have fun killing people shit, and uh, having a slight battle. Also, we managed to level up this, uh, this here guy a little bit, this, uh, this whatever. This is cool. Yeah. And to think that it wasn't even max level. No, man, already this strong. Okay. I'm still waiting for the day, though, that I can just loot like crazy. I loot, but like, one shot everything. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, I think we'll grab this one and then that green drop, unless if I can see a red one from here. Yeah, I think the best place to look for red drops is probably Crystal Isles, to be honest. And Mulgaro, especially, because there's like, there's like two, maybe three places that it usually almost always pops up. And that's another Halloween thing, you know. <sighs> But yep, we'll call it a night after this one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Get the blue drum, get the green drop, and that way to hit the hob. I'll be out. I don't take care of whatever I want to do tomorrow. I think tomorrow though, I'm going to be streaming uh, out of war or something. Or maybe Last Guardian, because uh, my, my girlfriend's been enjoying that. And she's usually at work. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Because work is 12 hours, and then you basically stay up for like 8. So, I mean, or less. I mean, pretty much her whole day is just work, work, work. I imagine me stream would definitely be good for her and me. Nice. Everything was good in that except for the whip. I thought it would be kind of good though, like if I'm PvPing somebody and you know I could just use the whip and start utilizing it and then take people's weapons away. Or let's say someone has like a uh, crowd pod and they're on foot, I could just whip the fuck out of them and just take the stuff. We'll see. Huh. Also, I'm t we should check that spot too, because some people build that way as well. Is that the church? I think that's the church. Oh, that might be something else. Huh. Or maybe it's this. This might be the church. I'm so confused. Like, it's been a while since I literally played in this biome and lived here and done stuff, so... Yeah, we'll, we'll check both these places. Then we'll, we'll get out of here. Because, like, one, there's, like, a slight rat hole here that most people build, and especially when they start out. So we're talking about people who just got the flag. It's so like, you know, folks like that. But me, even though I'm, like, kind of all over the place, I'm actually already, like, right next to tech tier within, like, my first month or so. So, I mean, pretty fucking steady pace, right? <laughs> Almost immediately. But, uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, there's nothing here. So, probably... Probably gotta go here. Yeah. And I kind of wonder if I can... Oh, yo, I see something. Hold on a minute. 
I'm curious. I really am. Like, can I actually break the cliff platform from the other side? Did they even think about that? So let, let me see what's all in here. I can't really see, but there's a cliff platform. A generator right here. Some kind of forge. Uh huh. But like, I bet you there's probably some loot on here. Or not loot, but probably turret. See, no, it's literally just a cliff platform. And that's it. Wait, why would it, why would they even do that? I, I would think there'd be like turns on that shit and stuff. Weird. All right. I hear a lot of fucking fire down there too. see those turns in here. It's hard to see because of the spot we're at, but... Oh, yeah, there they are. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Hmm. To be honest, I might even be able to, like, snipe them through here. If, if the gap is good enough. Let me actually take a peek. It's certainly possible. Eh, maybe not. Maybe in my fictional mindset, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like these guys haven't been raided. They are one of the current alpha, so especially in the Discord. Oh man, they got even more turrets. So they they probably been gathering a good bit. But yeah, this is kind of why I want to mesh them, because this seems like work. <laughs> And I'd, I'd rather not deal with that. Yep, goodbye, base. I still do look, like taking advantage of stuff like that, though, especially like, if someone didn't really think out their base too well. You can just go, oh, cool, you f you forgot to defend your cliff platform and it's sticking out the side. I will take advantage of that. Thank you, fucking neat. C4, Arthropolio, whatever. Yeah, we'll do it. Just me and then, I actually wonder if I even have it up there, boy, saddle. I'll have to check him out. Cause like, literally just tame him by having meat on your inventory, just follow him around and sneak up behind. They're really slow, so it's not that hard to do it. Like, I think that's one of them, maybe, or this is a snake. A snake. But yeah, they're usually just about everywhere. Which is rather convenient. Yeah. So kill the Stike Leo. Yeah, bleed effect. Okay. Don't need that hook claw though. That needs to go away. Alright, so now we'll get this. Ooh. Is that Dino saddle? Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Let's take this up. Oh, we got the scorching going on now. It's a good thing that was my last drop, unless if another drop pops in right in front of me, then I might take that. Yeah. But yeah, we got a little bit of stuff. Ain't too bad. <laughs> yeah, but I'm ready to go to bed though, so yeah. Like I said, I'll probably bullshit on YouTube or something. We already tried to bullshit on Final Fantasy, but there was nothing going on, so I'm bored. Friends were all busy. Uh shit posting was kinda of boring in public areas, so yeah. Wasn't going too well. <laughs> that. Yep. Crowd potted. And now we head back home. And we'll probably go ahead and sleep in my base. Yep. And we'll take care of sorting the rest of this another time. I do want to see the rest of our maps because I, I think I keep confusing uh, Thrive because they have a junction server now. But yes, Volgaro. Join. Uh-huh. And like I said, the admin might come by one day and just wipe us. Who knows? Or maybe they'll give me like a timer to be like, hey, person, like, you know, you, you got special mess stuff and things. It's like, okay. But yeah, I really do want to get into that little underwater thing right next to where I'm at. So I, I need to head detect here as soon as possible. 
So what I might end up doing is I might just wait until the next paycheck just pay the admin for stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of that lazy. Because this, this is just... Ugh. I just, I want to get my check, man. I, I am done. <laughs> and I've already given him like a good 40, 50 something bucks. So like, what, what's, what's more, right? Plus it helps the server keep going. And sometimes, just a little heads up, giving people money for a server might also make them a little bit more lenient towards you. Especially if they knew who you are. My problem though is we're incognito, so. We don't really have it. I have to, I have to pee. I have to poop. But yeah. I will pee and poop. And you guys will pee and poop. Everybody have a good one. Pee and poop. Peace.